a lonely desert, a silent grave, and a single strand of ancient DNA. Buried beneath the arid soil of Montana, archaeologists unearthed a skeleton. Tiny bones, fragile, but perfectly preserved for over 12,600 years. At first glance, it was just another prehistoric burial. But what scientists discovered inside those bones would tear apart everything we believed about the first Americans. The Clovis culture, long thought to be the first to set foot in the New World, now faced its greatest challenge yet. What if they weren't the beginning? What if their story wasn't ours? This DNA wasn't just old. It was a time capsule, a genetic fingerprint unlike any other, reaching back beyond recorded history, pointing to a mysterious lineage hidden for millennia. Across labs and continents, experts held their breath. The data was clear. But the implications? Earth-shattering. Could this child's genetic code rewrite the origin story of an entire continent? And if so, who were the real first Americans? For nearly a century, the Clovis people were considered the ultimate pioneers of the Americas. Their culture, named after stone tools discovered near Clovis, New Mexico in the 1930s, was believed to be the earliest human presence on the continent. With their razor-sharp, fluted spear points, they hunted mammoths and roamed vast Ice Age landscapes, appearing around 13,000 years ago. And seemingly out of nowhere, archaeologists mapped their spread from the American Southwest to the East Coast, even as far south as Venezuela. For decades, this theory dominated textbooks, museum exhibits, and academic journals. Clovis I wasn't just a hypothesis. It was dogma. But there were whispers. Strange sights that didn't fit the timeline. Tools that seemed older. Bones that didn't belong. Still, without hard evidence, these anomalies were dismissed. Until 1968, in the quiet fields of Montana, a rancher's backhoe struck something buried deep beneath the prairie. A child's bones. Small, ancient, undisturbed. The site was named Anzic, and it would hold a secret no one was ready to face. In the dry chill of a Montana spring, archaeologists descended upon the Anzic site with surgical precision. What they uncovered was unlike anything found before in North America. A ceremonial cache. Over 100 stone tools, blade fragments, and antler rods all covered in red ochre, a sacred pigment used in ancient rituals. At the heart of it all, the fragile skeleton of a two-year-old boy, gently placed among the artifacts. The burial was deliberate, reverent, and unmistakably Clovis. Radiocarbon dating confirmed what everyone suspected. The remains were over 12,600 years old the oldest known burial in North America. But the real breakthrough came decades later. With new advancements in ancient DNA extraction, scientists returned to the Anzic bones and for the first time successfully sequenced the full genome of a Clovis individual. The excitement was electric. Finally, a chance to compare the genetic blueprint of one of America's earliest known inhabitants. But... As the data came in, something didn't add up. The DNA wasn't just Clovis. It was something older, something unexpected, and it pointed somewhere far beyond the ice-aged plains of North America. Inside ultra-sterile labs from Copenhagen to Berkeley, geneticists began decoding the ancient strands of DNA extracted from the boy S. Petrus Bone the densest part of the human skull, and a rare time capsule for prehistoric genomes. Contamination was the enemy. One false touch could erase millennia of truth. Researchers wore full-body suits, worked under UV light, and triple-checked every sequence. What they found sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The boy's genome showed clear links not just to modern Native American tribes, 
but also to ancient populations in Siberia. Specifically, a mysterious group known as the Malta people, who lived near Lake Baikal over 24,000 years ago. This was the first direct genetic bridge between ancient Eurasia and the Americas. But that wasn't all. The genome also showed that the Clovis child was part of a lineage that predated the Clovis culture itself by thousands of years. This meant the boy S ancestors had already been in the Americas long before the rise of Clovis technology. The implications were staggering. Could it be that Clovis wasn't the beginning, but merely a chapter in a much older story? The genome of the Anzic boy was a genetic time bomb. When researchers compared his DNA to modern populations across the Americas, a stunning pattern emerged. Over 80% of present-day Native Americans shared direct genetic ancestry with him. This wasn't a fringe connection. It was foundational. The boy's DNA became a genetic Rosetta Stone, unlocking an ancient migration that spanned from Siberia across Beringia, the land bridge that once connected Asia to Alaska, and deep into the heart of the New World. But the timeline was the real shocker. The genetic lineage traced back not to 13,000 years ago, but to a migration event more than 15,000, possibly even 20,000 years earlier, long before Clovis tools had appeared. This shattered the long-held Clovis first model. The first Americans weren't Clovis pioneers at all. They were pre-Clovis people, a population that had already spread across the continent, adapting, thriving, and evolving for millennia. The Anzic boy, though buried with Clovis artifacts, belonged to a much deeper lineage. His DNA didn't just tell a new story. It rewrote the opening chapter of American history. Picture a frozen world at the end of the last ice age. Massive glaciers towered over the northern horizon, carving valleys and sealing paths. But to the west, along the Pacific coast, something shifted. As the ice sheets began to melt, a narrow corridor of life opened. A coastal refuge lined with kelp forests and rich marine life. From Siberia, Small bands of nomadic hunter-gatherers made the crossing, not on foot, but by boat, hugging the icy shores, fishing, and foraging as they moved south. These were the ancestors of the Anzic child. Long before Clovis Point's pierced mammoth hide, these people walked the uncharted coasts of what is now Alaska, British Columbia, and beyond. They built fires in caves, left traces in ancient middens, and watched the stars shift over unfamiliar skies. Slowly, generation by generation, they spread inward, along river valleys, across plains, into deserts and forests. By the time the Clovis culture emerged, these early Americans had already shaped the land with stories, tools, and genes. The Anzic boy was a child of two legacies the ceremonial splendor of Clovis, and the ancient pulse of a people who came before history had words. The Anzic discovery did more than change dates in a textbook. It redefined identity. It showed that the story of the first Americans is not a straight line, but a vast web of journeys, buried truths, and ancestral echoes that still live within millions today. Clovis was not the origin but a brilliant moment within a much older epic. And that little boy, buried with ritual and reverence, became the voice of a forgotten past. His DNA spoke for a people whose footsteps marked this land long before pyramids rose in Egypt or stones stood at Stonehenge. As science pushes deeper into ancient genomes, who knows what other stories wait in the bones of the earth? What other forgotten children will speak across the millennia? If the first Americans were not who we thought they were, what else have we gotten wrong? If you enjoyed this journey into the deep past, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. There's much more to uncover.
and history is only beginning to whisper its secrets.